Hello, my name is Jurgen, and welcome back to Armored Warfare. So, here it is, 019 on the live servers. Many people playing at the moment, obviously the patch has just come out a couple of days ago as of recording this. And I hop back in for the first time in quite a while on the live servers anyway. And as you can see, I'm playing the Merkava 2D, used to be the Merkava 2B, but it's been updated with a new turret. Uh, in terms of the sloping on the sides and additionally more importantly a free round autoloader or ready rack system they're practically the same in terms of gameplay it doesn't really matter if it, they have differences in real life uh, I think it is a autoloader in game uh, it doesn't matter anyway we have three shots with a delay of 3.7 seconds between each shell being loaded and then a reload of about 20 seconds I think or maybe 18 which you know is okay and additionally the Merkava has very strong frontal arm with some weaknesses of course in terms of my feelings of playing the game uh, and how it feels compared to the previous patch it's going to be quite hard because I can't remember how the previous patch played in comparison really I feel it's going to be quite adaptable if you haven't played so far and probably most of you watching this have and have already formed an opinion anyway so shots are accurate enough but sometimes they just miss in stupid ways or the enemy just changes his track a little bit and then it bounces on the really weird part of the armor but you can see this autoloader and oh, there you go one just goes low into the track there so now I'm reloading for 20 seconds, and you can see I'm just rocking back and forth on the suspension here, trying to, you know, throw off any shots if anyone comes around the corner, and just practicing the mechanic anyway. So you can see there it went green very briefly on the lower plane of the recover, and also where that spot is, I can pen some of the time. It's a very, very weak, sorry, very difficult weak spot. The lower plate isn't as bad as you might think, and you can see the engine bay is the main weakness on the front upper plate. So we put in six good shots, 2,800 damage so far, I believe that says. And yeah, we've lost quite a lot of HP as well, because that Merkaba unloaded three rounds into us, or two rounds rather, and then a really big round from that T-80U. T-80s and all those Soviet tanks still retaining very high amounts of damage with their 125mm. Of course this tank has a 105mm gun meaning your damage is lower in terms of per shot but because of this free round mechanic you can do quite well and not necessarily clip people to death. Uh, you can clip people who are on half HP perhaps at this tier and lower tiers of course you can clip probably when they're on two thirds. Uh, maybe a bit less. Put one into the side of that tank there and pull back. Bouncing a shot on the upper plate, crashing into whatever that was behind me. I always get stuck. Boxes, you know, absorbing a shot as usual. <laughs> or I might have just missed that by a few millimetres and it might not be a fault of game mechanics though. We get tracked, but we repair them pull back we're getting hit in the side we didn't actually take any damage there but we did get tracked again thankfully at a decent enough angle however we're exposed to the right and the T-72B has just hit us in the flank meaning we're pretty much a bit screwed here but our guns loaded so we put one shot into him wait for this guy to hopefully pick the corner and unfortunately bounce into his side skirts find the weakness and now I'm reloading, which is a bit of a problem because when an autoloader is reloading or the system is reloading, you are practically screwed until, well, that is if the enemy realizes that you are reloading. And this is a weird bug here, shooting through a very solid piece of metal into the lower plate of that T90. Unfortunately, we waste one of the shots, put another one into that guy. However, this is where we're pretty much screwed. There's an excellent one behind us, which is now a premium, by the way. Um, 
and we get taken out. But we had a pretty decent round in the Merkur for there, even though we went down about halfway through the match. We still managed to do 5,000 odd damage. And, you know, I wasn't too unhappy of that result. The Merkava is one of these tanks which is very strong frontal armour, and if you angle the sides, they're not as bad um, as you might think in close proximity. Uh, of course, if you hit a Merkava with a 100mm or whatever above uh, in the side when it's flush to the gun, then it will pen pretty much 100% of the time, unless it's some weird mechanic, uh, a weird angle bounce or similar. So, that was the Mokova, one of my first games, and I think we are just about to wrap this match up. We have a LAV600 here. Apparently the light tanks are, this isn't a light tank of course, it's a TD, but apparently light tanks are quite strong. I've only played one round in the uh, Stingray, which is a tier 6, and I had a pretty, pretty decent round in it, so that'll be coming up soon, hopefully. Uh, but apparently in the subsequent update they're going to be a, uh, a pass made on the TDs which will apparently improve some of their characteristics, apparently they are underperforming. Additionally I have played some of the Chinese vehicles and yep they're still pretty bad. Uh, at least the Type 92 and the Type 98, I believe, is still going to be quite bad. I haven't played that one, but I've played the Type 92. Didn't enjoy it at all. It has very buttery sides. Much worse than the Mokova that you saw here. So it's just a Centauro 105 left, which used to be called the B1 Centauro, and it's now been buffed up a tier as well. Haven't got a chance to play it yet. We will see. Um, if you have any... Not recommendations, but, um, well, I guess recommendations or requests. I might uh, do that. So if you want to see a particular tank that you may uh, want to acquire, this guy is a bit weird how he doesn't fire there. He might have been out of ammo, but I'd be surprised if he actually was. But we take him down. So yeah, if you have a request in terms of a vehicle that you want to see or a recommendation that you've played and I should play, then leave a comment down below um, and I'll try and get to have a look at it. No promises, but I would try anyway. So that was all right, 5,400 damage, a lot of credits. We came second on damage, even though we came, well, we died halfway through the match or rather when half of the enemy team was remaining, but regardless. Pretty good tank, and of course it's a premium, so it will make more money. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, I've been Jujin, and I'll see you chaps and chapettes in the next one.